Activity number one is embroidery or hand sewing. I started off by going through my ridiculous fabric stash in my hallway closet and grabbed this just really basic cream off-white cotton material. Then I got my little mini iron, plugged it in under my desk, and attempted to get the wrinkles out. This is a very stubborn fabric, so it wasn't completely perfect, but I cut out some squares to fit my two embroidery hoops, placed the fabric in between the wood, and tightened them both. Next, I went on Pinterest and picked out an embroidery design I wanted to do and sketched it out on the material. The pressure from the pencil got it a little bit warped though, so I re-stretched it out and tightened it. Then I just grabbed my embroidery floss, split the threads in the amount that I wanted, and started on the design. I'm following the main structure of the little Volkswagen van with this light green color and using small back stitches for all of it. For the flower stems and petals at the top, I'm using a darker green and then a few different pastels. I find that embroidery is one of the cheapest hobbies you can do because the thread is so cheap and needles come pretty cheap as well. Plus, you technically don't need a hoop. I've embroidered plenty of times without it and is more than doable, so with some cheap fabric, I find that it can be a nice, time-consuming, relaxing activity that doesn't cost a bunch of money. That's a reason I like it so much. You can personalize so many things with it. I really enjoy that about it. For the actual design, Design, though this is one of the colors I decided to use for the flowers and I did a few different types of stitches for them I did French knots lazy daisy or just some overlapping stitches to create a bundle of color For hand sewing, however, I'm just grabbing this basket that I DIY'd a tie lid to and put in the tank top I'm currently working on, as well as this little ceramic dish, adding a few supplies like some needles on a magnet, a thimble, and my thread. Adding that to the basket before also adding in the book I'm currently reading and my scissors. Tying that up, I'm heading outside for a little spot next to the ferns in my backyard to work on the shirt. Untying it, I'm just laying out all of the things, and honestly, I feel like doing anything outside, if it is a nice day, just makes it instantly more aesthetically pleasing. I really enjoy doing projects outside, so if it can be done, I would recommend doing it outside. Activity number two is baking or cooking. Now, if you're watching this video and you know me personally, you're probably laughing because you'll know that I am not a very good cook and I often just stick to the simplest meals, but I've been really trying to improve my baking lately, as you might have seen from my cottagecore aesthetic video that I recently did where I baked a cake. So this week I thought I would do some pancakes, which I've been making for my family. The recipe I'm following in detail is this one. And like I said, I've been really enjoying it. So I would definitely recommend it. I'm just adding all of the ingredients to this mixing bowl before whisking that up. My kitchen, however, is not very aesthetic, so I did take the batter and cook them off camera, but along with that, I also cracked a few eggs into this bowl to whisk up with a bit of almond milk and salt to make some fried eggs, because if there's something that I can cook, it is eggs. So this was foolproof. Again, taking those to the kitchen to cook them up, here are the pancakes. After adding those fried eggs once completed, I'm also getting my silverware and my butter container buttering those pancakes up. I'm also adding some fresh blueberries. You could use pretty much any fruit though. Adding a little more salt to my eggs and syrup on top of my pancakes. I'm finishing it off by adding some powdered cane sugar into this little sifter to dust my pancakes. At the time of filming this, I hadn't actually had breakfast and filming took longer than I thought, so I was absolutely ravenous after doing this and quite enjoyed the meal. So if it's worth anything, I thought they were absolutely delicious and I really enjoyed making them. Activity three is foraging or gardening. Now for foraging, I usually just go around my backyard and collect flowers and vines from my chimney and such, but I know a lot of people live in apartments and don't have backyards like this, so I'd recommend going to local parks or wooded areas. I know some don't allow you to pick the decorative flowers, but even branches from trees can be really fun to make into wall decor or just to put in a vase, even if it isn't beautiful roses or something. I know I'm quite lucky in this area, but there is different places you can go to try to do this. I grabbed a few different things. I got some of these tiny yellow flowers, some purple ones. I grabbed some ferns and some purple heart. Also, this really cool plant I don't know the name of in my backyard I really like with this white edge. So these are the ones that I got 
from the morning but after that i decided to go to my shed grab some tools and head to my garden to clear it out most of the time gardening is a lot more aesthetic unfortunately at this time of the year my summer crop has all kind of died so i was clearing out a bunch of things which is much less aesthetically pleasing than watering or planting seeds but it was fun to kind of rip out the stalks of things and i also got to harvest some more seeds from the flowers that were dying such as my sunflowers marigolds or cosmos here's how the garden looked at its peak because it looks a little sad now but it was really good throughout the summer and soon i'll be planting my winter crop so more fun will come from that the day was pretty hot and the work was pretty hard so i did take a break to eat some cherry nectarines before finally grabbing my shovel and digging those sunflower roots out after that however i returned my tools and and was done. Activity number four is painting. On this particular day, it was actually raining, so I decided to make a little basket of my different watercoloring supplies, like my notebook and my palettes, as well as a little dabbing cloth, my brushes, and a few sketching supplies, along with my little dish that I use to hold my water. I added my picnic blanket to that and headed out to my patio where I set up all of my supplies just on the edge of my porch covering so I could be next to the rain but not get my stuff wet. And if you don't have a covering like this, you could totally just open a door or a window because painting next to the rain was actually really, really relaxing and it was also super fun to collect the rainwater for the watercolor instead of just using old sink water. I don't know, I think it's the small things that make it extra special and fun. You can of course also use acrylic paint or oil paint instead of watercolor. I've never used oil paints before and it is definitely something I want to try out one day or you could just draw or something It doesn't even have to be painting. So use any medium you want. Similar to embroidery I think that watercolor is one of the cheapest hobbies that you can do because the palettes last so long and you can just pick up a really cheap one It doesn't have to be super sophisticated or anything and you can use watercolor paper But it works fine on normal printer paper too as well as the fact that I enjoy watercoloring so much more than acrylic because even though both are washable with water Water. watercolor is so much easier to clean if it gets on your clothes or your skin or your workspace I would definitely recommend doing some type of art project outside in a rain if you have a covering or an open door while it is because I just had a really good time with this <laughs> <laughs> 